guys, it's me, Brittany, and this is my channel, My Beauty Mark. So, I'm really excited about this video. This is my update video. Um, and what I'm pretty much updating is when I cut off all my straight ends so that I can had completely heat trained, damage free hair. So, that was exactly three months ago, February 24th, I believe, is the date uh, when I cut it, or like the day after, or something like that. So, that's like right, right when I cut it. So this is three months later, and we'll see what kind of progress I made. So here is, um, I took this picture from like uh, one of the videos I did, like the day after. Um, I took like a little picture of that video. So here it is right here. So as you can see in that video, um, my hair pretty much was like right here at armpit length. Well, in the front at least. And so I'm going to measure it for you guys. I have my ruler here. This is a standard ruler. And I'm just going to measure it. So, so my hair was like right there at armpit length. So we'll just put the ruler right there. And then we'll just take the hair and measure it like so. Ends about right there. Make sure my ruler is good. Good. And we're actually about at an inch and a half. Oh, my nails don't really so up. yeah, isn't that cool? So about an inch and a half is what we did. So I pretty much re retained all my length, uh, which is awesome. So to tell you a little more about my hair, I had hair that was like completely straight and it was damaged. So I cut that off. So this is the three month uh, update of that. Um, in the previous picture I showed you, my hair was flat ironed at 350 degrees. Um, my hair today is flat ironed at 400 degrees. So it's it's not as it's a little bit flatter than it was. Um, in that picture. Um, also, let's see, as far as my hair grows, um, I cut it thin and then I have um, like every eight weeks I'll do like a little dusting and that's just to like keep everything even, kind of like it is now, even and uh, just kind of keep any split ends at bay. Um, also, one side of my hair grows faster than the other. I can't remember which side. I want to say this side grows a little bit faster. Um, so every like once a month or uh, once every two months, I have to go through and just even them out. And I just shorten one up a little bit this side. And um, like once like once every two months, it goes about a fourth of an inch faster than this side. So I'll just have to even it up. This side is like normal, or this side is like normal growth about a fourth of an inch, or excuse me, about a half of an inch a month. And this one is just like a little bit longer. Um, also, I pretty much been wearing my hair straight, um, especially since I got my um, bangs here. I cut my bangs. I definitely been wearing it straight. Um, I do, I do do braid outs, but I think the majority of the three months I probably have been wearing my hair straight. Um, yeah. So what I use, I still use pretty much the same um, um, product. I still use the Athagy, um Deep Moisture Shampoo. Um, yeah, and for the winter, I was shampooing my hair once every two weeks, but now that it's warmer, that is just not happening. My scalp is not cooperating. Sorry, my hair's kind of like, I don't know, it's almost bedtime, so it's sleepy. So anyway, um, so now I'm back to once a week with the Apogee. Um, then after I shampoo my hair, I changed my conditioner. Don't know what I was using before. I think the herbal essences conditioner, but somebody recommended this to me. Oh my God. Fabulous. Wait, I don't know if you can see it. There we go. Norse spa conditioner. And I actually got this from Trader Joe's. Wait, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's. And I love this. This is like the most moisturizing conditioner I ever use. My hair is absolutely positively in love with this and to be perfectly honest with you I use this as my rinse out conditioner and I also use it as my deep conditioner um tell you the truth I haven't really been deep conditioning <laughs> that much um like with Heat, sometimes or a lot of times I'll um just leave this in overnight and then I'll do that but I just don't have the patience to sit on the dryer anymore I just can't do it I hate the dryer so I've been, I'll deep condition this with this overnight sometimes. Sometimes I just 
leave it in for a few minutes and rinse it out. And then after I rinse out my conditioner, I'm ready to get out the shower. And I still use the same um, serum, the Lock and Block, formerly known as uh, Moisture Block. Love this stuff. It's awesome. I think I talked about it before. Maybe I should make a video on this. I don't think I've ever made a video on this. I should. I love it. And that's it. So I'll put this, I'll put that on. I was using like um the main intel, and that was okay too, but I feel like the heavier serum is better. So I'll put down on the serum and then I'll blow dry my hair. And then I flat iron it. And that's pretty much it. After I'm done flat ironing it, I apply this product here. I'm sorry. I have two. This product here. It's like a Mega Care Hobo Oil. It's like a Hobo. It's like a Hobo Oil um, mix. The ingredients are a Hobo Oil, Castor Oil. Sunflower oil, olive oil, lanolin, BHA, don't know what that is, and um, fragrance. And I love this. It's like a nice little oil. And this, those are the only products I use, you guys. That's it. If I'm wearing a braid out, um, instead of using the lock and block, I'll use this. Kinky, I'll use the Kiki Curly Knock Today, which is fine, or I'll use the jojoba oil um, as a moisturizer, and then I'll use the Nairobi as a whole. And that's, but these two are only, only, only when I do a braid out, and even when I moisturize my braid out, I'll use this. And that is it as far as that goes. My book. A lot of you guys have been asking about my book. Um, yes, I have most of the content down. Um, the reason I've kind of been like dragging my feet a little bit on it is um, I've kind of actually kind of been trying to like do experiments and um, just try different methods to see if they work, to see if I could give you guys that information. And I've actually been talking to like subscribers who have um, tried these two. I hope you guys don't mind if I do this. My hair like needs some. Um, like different methods or things that have been working for them and not working for them. So, um, good for the elbows. Um, so that's what I've been doing, but I pretty much figured out that, you know, just the basics, what I kind of started out with was, is the way to go. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so hopefully that'll be out soon. Uh, I have the content, I have to edit it and then, uh, I'm, gonna really really try to get some good pictures for you or at least um, good diagrams to go in the book so yeah I think that's it I think that's my whole update whoa looking kinda crazy I think that's my like whole update there I promise my hair will look better tomorrow it's just sleepy that's all um that's it. I think that's it. I don't think I have anything else to report. Little Foot's hair is growing well. <laughs> He's at terminal at this point, so making great progress there. So anyway, um, that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my update. Please stay around. Thank you for reading and subscribing and watching. And yeah, I appreciate it. So happy hair growing. See you soon. Bye.
20 minus rims Really don't care how much long you've been together Let your man tell it, I'm the one that does it better Don't try to argue, don't try to fuss Girl, it ain't my fault that your man broke your trust Now you're looking at me like your girl ready to 